as a kid, I was fortunate enough that I actually grew up on a lake. My brother and I, we had little small boats and fished all those lakes growing up. You know, we'd ride around our bikes with fishing poles, grew and grew and grew and grew, and I never, never ever got tired of it. It was just something that I loved. Every free moment, I felt like I was doing something that had to do with fishing. If you really enjoy something, you're going to keep on trying to take it to the next level, catch bigger fish, catch more fish. That's what the ocean is going to have to provide you. And, and as you get older, you grow and you become more adventurous and you're willing to take more risks because you can. search for a little over five years. I live here year-round. It is home. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, there's no other way to describe it. Every day is different, especially on these expedition days. We didn't know if there was going to be white sharks here. We assumed there was going to be makos and blue sharks, and quite a few of them, actually. We thought we were going to kind of knock it out of the park with these things and get five of each in no time. We saw one. Something's going on here that I can't explain, but there's a noticeable lack of sharks here. That is correct. This just came up. And uh, white sharks, we're not really surprised. You know, it's one of those things we put all the pieces of the puzzle together. I mean, the water temperature is right. Everything's right. It seems like a place that any minute a white shark could show up. So you never know what's going to happen on these things. It's not over yet. <laughs> 